Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to use input in Jenkins pipeline. I have logged into my Jenkins server. Now let's get started by creating a job. I am going to call the job as pipeline, click pipeline and then click OK. For the demo purpose, I am going to use the hello world sample pipeline script and then I am going to modify that. Since we are going to do input, so I am going to call these stages input, okay? And this one we are going to remove, right? But along with the input, so we want the certain commands to be executed. So that's why I am just mentioning this. I want it to print the first name and then the uname minus a, okay? So now let's go and create the pipeline syntax for input, okay? As part of the sample step, select the input, Okay, so here we need to give a message. So I'm going to say click submit to proceed. Okay, then we are going to click the advanced. Here we have an option to specify a, a caption for the OK button. So I'm going to give it a submit because here I have mentioned click submit to proceed. Okay, then I'm going to click generate pipeline. Okay, so you could see the message is this and the OK we are calling it a submit. I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'm going to paste it here as part of this step. Okay, save this and then build now. Okay, so the build is getting executed now. So let's go to the dashboard and here we could see so this agent is waiting for input. Okay, so what we will do is go to the pipeline, right? Console output. Now click submit. So we have provided input. Now the build has got completed successfully. But the challenge problem we see with this is because till we provide an input, the agent will be blocked. We won't be able to run any other jobs. Okay. So let's see how to fix it. Go to pipeline, configure. Okay. So we are going to make some change, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to make the first the agent ADS none. Okay. And then we are going to split this into two different stage. Okay. Stage. Here this will call is execute, okay, and this we will add the steps, okay, right, and then we will copy these things there, okay, x, and we will just put it here, and for this stage we will give agent any, okay, so we will save this, we will build again, okay, build again started. So now again we'll go to dashboard. So but here we don't see any agent waiting for input. Okay. So we'll go to the pipeline again. Right. And then we'll go to the console output, click submit. Okay. So again the build got executed successfully. Okay. So this time it is with two different stages. Okay. And the second stage actually use the agent. Okay. So now let us see how to add a parameter to this input okay so what we will do is we will go to the pipeline syntax here we'll click add right we will say a string parameter so i just wanted to pick up the first name okay so default value i'm going to give it as my name and the description i'm just going to say is first name okay so and we will trim the string okay so i'm going to click generate pipeline okay so now again i'm going to just copy this go to here and then replace this with this okay but I'm going to make one more change also okay so what is that is I'm just going to add the parenthesis there right so here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a global variable right so where I'm just going to get the first name and then assign it okay and since we are using a global variable has to be within the script okay so i'm just going to say this okay but here i need to first define that variable okay define first name okay all good right and here i'm again i'm going to add a script because i'm just going to echo the first name okay so what i'm going to do is echo hello and then the first name okay I'm going to save it then I'm going to build again so the build is again started 
it's waiting for the input since we have added a parameter it is saying input requested okay so if i want i can change this or i'll just submit it okay so now we could see it has printed hello kavita okay so it has accepted the parameter okay all looks good okay so next what we will do is so here what we have done is here you could see so this input as part of one stage and then we have an execute stage so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this input as the i'm going to create a directive for input and then take it outside right uh, outside the steps and i'm going to use only one stage okay so what i'm going to do is i'll just remove all these things okay so i'm just going to have agent any So we have the script, we have everything, okay. And I will just remove this also. We are not going to use any global variable, okay. So then what I'm going to do is, we'll again go to the pipeline syntax, okay. So this time we'll go to the declarative directive generator. We'll select for input, okay. So we need to give a message. So what I'm going to say is, provide this name, okay. And then I'm going to click advanced. So here again, we'll be able to give the name submit. Okay, then we are going to add the parameters, string parameter. So again, I'm just going to provide exactly the same. Okay, first name, then my name, right? And then again, again, I'm just going to say as first name. Okay, trim string, then click generate declarative directive. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to is this below the agent ID okay and then what I'm going to do is here I'm going to replace this first name with this first name okay right so we, we can just fix this so that it will be very clear okay so I'm just going to ensure so we have added the input directive okay so this is going to be parameters and then this is going to be for the input so all looks good okay so i'm going to save it then we'll build again okay so the build has started so click that right so since we have passed parameter it's asking for input input requested okay so again here the message what we gave provide the first name then i'm going to click submit right so the build has successfully completed in this demo we have seen how to use input in jenkins if you like this demo please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo